I walk in, I, you know, I want to learn more about their family's legacy, about their collections. They get really jazzed when the heirs are telling us, yeah, you know, my dad collected this for this reason, my mom collected this for this reason. And it really, you know, gets, you get to know them um, personally. So the Trust and Estates team can take a client's full collection and distribute it throughout our whole 40 categories. So if someone has a jewelry collection and a movie poster collection, I can help whoever needs the help. I feel that I'm a therapist when I work in trusted estates and I actually enjoy that because usually when someone calls me, they're in distress, they're downsizing, they're stressed out, um, they're depressed or upset because maybe they lost, uh, lost someone that they loved. So I'm always helping them and not only monetarily, but usually there's some type of emotional aspect that if I could take that gray cloud and put a rainbow in it, or even just one ray of sunshine, I feel that I've done my job as well. When you're passionate about what you collect and you've spent your lifetime collecting it, whether that's coins or art or I don't care, it, whatever it has dispensers, it doesn't matter what it is, you, Somebody needs to be forthright enough to say, what do you want your legacy to be with this collection? No day is the same, and I'm always working with people who are experts in their fields, and that is very, very fulfilling to me. Something that's really important to remember when you're dealing with you know, different items and different people, um, each piece has its own story, and each piece has its own history. We help clients um, with large collections mostly. And so I need to be pretty on top of my game to go into someone's home when I'm doing an estate walkthrough with an executor, with a, an heir, um, with an estate planning advisor. I need to make sure that I can identify objects of value. I always say that Heritage is the best place to go for trusted estates because we really listen to your needs. I will never leave anybody hanging with all the rest of the stuff and come in and cherry pick. I get to work with a lot of collectors and their advisors and it allows me to interact and collaborate with many of my colleagues, um, not just here in Beverly Hills, but throughout the company. We, we take it seriously. Uh, me and my team take it very seriously. It's, it's an important thing to be asked to handle a family's object that has been around for you know, generations and generations. To be able to help a client manage their collection, uh, it's a real honor. If you love this thing, even if you weren't a major collector, if this dollhouse or whatever it was what gave you so much joy all your life, you want it to give somebody else joy, and if it, that those people aren't your children, then it should go to a collector who will want it and, and take care of it. It's really special for someone to share their, you know, their private collection with me, and I get to see something really fun and unique all the time. So it is an adventure. Um, you know, we're always looking for the next best object to offer.